FOV can be even further adjusted in the command line. Oh, cool. Okay, thank you. Ooh, that is pretty. Help me. That is pretty. Nice. What's up, big guy? Hey. First, the chest. Psst. Important Help. stuff first. Ten lockpicks? Oh, hell yeah. What's up, dude? Thank you. My pleasure. Nice hat. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalith. My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived. And so far, all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me, if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. Okay. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? That's pretty funny. Are you serious? This is a good spot for the rat house. Every village must have one. It'll be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. It can have its own little square, close to the church. There's no better site here. Cool. Sounds good to me, man. Oh, one sec. Gotta get my cheap wine, man. The church is still standing. Good. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Timber alone won't do, though. What's up, Death Man? Oh, this is the DLC. Yeah, we're playing the Kingdom Come DLC right now. This is uh this 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 DLC is basically about rebuilding a town. It's it's designed for people like me who played through the main game and have a huge amount of money with nothing to spend it on. So this is basically like their answer to hoarders like me. Which is pretty awesome. I'm kind of kind of very excited that they did that. How much does the DLC cost? I'm not sure on the price. Um, this this copy was... I got an early copy because it's not Damn. out yet through GOG. But actually, let me tell you real quick how much it costs. Uh, the DLC is... I think 10 bucks. It's people in chat are saying. But let me take a look here. Oh, I need to get all these HD packs. Uh, do I look at the store page? Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I want to follow this guy and hear what he has to say. My bad, my bad. I will look that up in a little bit. Bruh, where did you go? I lost my bruh. I lost my bruh. We have a bruh down. Stuck in a bush. Too much, too much, too much bush, not enough bruh. Oh, it didn't sound right. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, thankfully, I think he's just literally walking around and going, Oh, this would be a good place for this, and this would be a good place for this. So I, I think that's kind of okay. Um, oh, good. A is his place. Perfect. Now he's off awkwardly talking to himself. There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. I'll help. Oh, I can't help. I was I was totally gonna clear, help clear, but I can't. I'm sorry. Magic horse, magic horse. Hmm. Main approach road and stream.
What are you thinking, big guy? Hey, hey Stamp, how you doing today, bud? This bridge needs reinforcing. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Ooh, is it raining? That's just like super water texture. <laughs> oh, damn, he's a quick one. Supplies and trade will flow through here. Hey, Gergda. What's up, buddy? X Ramus, thank you for the 58 months. Houdini and the Phoenix Soul. Thank you, guys. Moon Bucket, thanks again for your cheer. Balrog's Bane, whips and chains, killed at the loading screen. Tons of laughs with the 14 months. Thank you for that. R6 with a $5 tip. Appreciate that, buddy. We also have Jimmy 2DO. I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters, and we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Sounds good. We also have 99 problems, Twitch 81, Zesty Bongos. Kelevec with the six months. Awesome, buddy. Enjoy Yakuza. A Lump of Coal and Cardiac with the five months. Good to see you, Cardiac. Thank you for the support, dudes. I really appreciate it. Thank you. X Ramus, hell yeah, man. There's Stone your third. Foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. Hmm. Man, there's from the sounds of it, we're gonna have a lot to do here. Um I was thinking there'd be like three or four buildings, but we're up to like six or seven at this point. And I wonder how we're like I'm I'm very curious how this DLC is gonna work. Cyberg says, so you get to build your own village? Kind of, yeah. I, I don't know how far we're going to be able to take it, but we're going to find What's out together. Here? This is the guy right now that is basically walking around the camp and letting us know what he thinks we can do to rebuild it. So he's already mentioned like rebuilding the church, putting a stable up, a market, uh, a tavern basically, reinforcing a bridge, clearing out an, uh, an herb area. He, marked, uh, he remarked about a... Needing a weir. Um, There's a well here already. All the better. Well, damn. There you go. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. What's down there? We'll have to check that out later. But can you build your own warframe? Oh, I'm pretty sure that buried in the ruins of this area is an ancient warframe that we can then acquire for ourselves. Yeah. And then we can start working on our mods. Clean water, mm -hmm. close to the village green. A good site for an inn. An inn, too. Okay, cool. Did I finish the How's sacrifice? That, I did. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. Great. Oh, game saved. Awesome. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes. Absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber. Lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think mm. we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. Mm. When will you inform Sir Divis? My way. Mm. I'll head to Townburg right away. But mm. would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? Yes. It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. Hmm. Hmm. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back. 
to Previslavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good He's self. He's got granddad jokes. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. That's Booker. That's I my did dog. my best, sir. <laughs> one, one second. Book, Booker. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Booker. Troublemaker? Do you see this troublemaker right here? Hmm? This. This is the troublemaker right here. This is him. This is the guy that makes all that noise, makes all those squeaks, these big old hound ears. You see this? It's just it's just ridiculous. Booker, you're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. We love you, but you're ridiculous. <sighs> he also really misses Rowan. I can tell. Like he uh oh man. Him and him and Rowan are like little partners in crime. Booker just basically follows him around all day and they play and chase each other and it's he's done some really strange behavior things with uh, my wife and Rowan gone. And uh, it's been really interesting to see. All right, uh, I drove them off. They didn't look all that tough. So I put a bit of pressure yeah, on it's them. It's got a lot bigger to their heels. You were outnumbered and you scared them off? Nah, they were greenhorns. I think they may have been a bit intimidated by me. Let's hope they don't try anything like that again. I'm quite sure they won't, sir. Let's get down to <laughs> Lord the Malachi, all good. shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid! Finally, some good news for this province. And badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. Oh, good. We get it all. How did Booker manage with the uh, the fourth? He did great. He he was really good. A little little bit nervous at first because some of my neighbors were doing some really loud like M80 style fireworks, but he got used to it pretty quick. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the past. I want his hat. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. Can I kill him we and take it? We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. Mm hmm. But there's a stream here, and a well right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village center will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. Six? We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you to find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But for now, we'll Dude. have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point. But I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We <laughs> shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price. But raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, 
I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. <laughs> well, a village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for building will need lots of labor. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound skeptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. That's a really cool I've idea. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here. But now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. Oh yeah, for those wondering, um, like I basically, this is the very beginning of the DLC. I had to kind of prep my end game experience and had to finish some of the epilogue and we had to find the guys. So if you're tuning in now, this is basically the beginning of the DLC. Yeah. All we've done is walked around Pribislavitz and, and pretty much seen what's here. And now we're talking to the main guy about it. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers, and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. <laughs> You've uh... proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalitz neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. Because I kill I people. must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of Bailiff of the Hamlet of Privacies in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. That's what if you think. If you don't treat Stab! the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, oh. we can't spare a single Groshen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it Scammed! <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain oh my God. tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. <laughs> but, sir, I'm what? Never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's um. I'm so basically, I'm going to be like the lord of this Are town. Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. Kind of cool. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honor. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rite Bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as Bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. Oh, and now man. I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. 
take the letter to the Ratai bailiff. Can do. Oh man, this is gonna get this is gonna get good. I'm I'm excited about this. What's up, man? You, are we are we pumped? Before we can start building as much as an outhouse, we'll have to get the whole area cleared, and we'll need lots of people to work the land. And I got a new mace. Out. Right. I? So I suppose I'd better get to Ratai first and see to that announcement. Indeed. Cool. I'm sure the bailiff will be more than happy. It will get the refugees out of his hair, and the citizens will stop complaining. I'll stay here for now and start planning the building plots. As soon as the laborers arrive, I'll start allocating work to them. Cool. Okay, sounds great. So first of all, let's check out our mace. The bailiff's mace. Hey, not a bad weapon. 61 damage. That's uh, that's kind of serious. Let's put all this on the horse. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Let's put the heavy shield on there. Uh, I guess I'll just keep the mace for now. Put all the arrows on there for now. Why are these not stacking? Let's put that on there too. Make our inventory nice and pretty. I'm on food and everything. Where's where's my food and stuff? Over here. Right? Nourishment? Okay, good. Energy? We need to sleep. Okay. How many groceries do I have? I currently have 28,000 groceries. So I'm basically the player that this DLC is designed for. A player that has basically spent mostly the entire game saving money and selling items uh, in prep for something like this. So, <laughs> yeah, like this is, for me, this DLC is kind of perfect, to be honest. Um, because I've, I, knowing I don't need money, I've still been saving money the entire game. And I have hundreds of things I can sell for more money. In fact, the only reason I haven't is because, uh, I've maxed out most stores and how much money they have. So, they said you need 300k for the entire rebuild. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then. Looks like we got some work to do. I'm gonna see what's in here, man. What is this? Oh. Well, that's not nearly as cool as I was thinking. Right, let's go. And now it's poisoned. Mm -hmm. All right, we need to get our armor fully repaired, our tailor fully repaired, our weapons fully repaired. We've got a lot of repairing to do. Let's head down to Rete. And we'll start there. Do 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 300k, I suddenly feel poor. I know, right? I went from I'm rich to oh god. <laughs> Magdalena, I know, right? Crazy. Crazy. When is the Warframe? Uh, we'll be playing some Warframe this afternoon. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some quest cleanup today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna work through all the quests that I have not done yet in Warframe this afternoon, and also more map progression. I still need to do a lot of Sedna, and uh, maybe some Nidus farming, and uh, you know some sabotages and the sorties. So much to do in that game. I love it, dude. I love it. Is this game still buggy? This game still has bugs. Yeah, apparently it's made a lot of great strides over the last year half year um yeah i've heard it's made a lot of progress but yeah welcome henry hey buddy you know what i think i'm gonna drop it to high not because it doesn't look pretty but because there's definitely a little bit of stuttering there's definitely a little bit of stuttering right now let's put it on very high are you guys are you guys are seeing that on your side too right there we go. Good talk. Okay. Well. Like I said, still some bugs. <laughs> still some bugs. Um, but that's okay. Yeah. By the way, good time to mention, uh, for anyone just tuning in, if you are interested in Kingdom Come Deliverance, my sponsor GOG has given us a 40% off code that only works for the next 72 hours. So if you are thinking of picking up the game anyway, it is an opportunity 
to save some money on it. So you can find that at co.tv slash KCD deal. That'll link you directly to the code. And uh, as far as I've been told by GOG, this is the most this game has ever been off. The highest percentage this game was off was actually 30% before this. And that was during the Steam sales. So this is the highest deal that KCD has ever been presented off, um, which is pretty cool. So big thanks to GOG, again, one of my sponsors uh, for, for that deal. Pretty awesome. Does the GOG version of the DLC work with the Steam base game? I I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna guess not. I'm gonna guess not. Charles um, the Fourth. I don't know for sure Bohemia, though, but I would Roman probably, Empire. even though, uh, one second. Long, even though GOG is my sponsor, Empire, I would probably recommend Trump keeping and your game and DLC and on the same deployment platform. So, yeah. When uh -oh. the Empress died, the whole empire uh, mourned. More that was weird. I, cu I couldn't skip the intro. Again, a few bugs. Um, oh, I was hitting E. Yeah, E was not doing anything. It may be because uh, when I reset my settings and it crashed, it may think that I'm starting up the game for the first time or something. I don't know what's going on. Yes, from, from the Ashes DLC is what we're doing right now. Yeah. You know what, Remco? I was gonna do that, but then I felt it was a little bit confusing to type. Yeah, but that's that's funny. I'm we're we're on the same uh, same line of thinking there. Alt F four would have skipped. Oh, that's what I tried. It didn't. <laughs> Thanks, Cyberiggy. I appreciate that, man. Oh, and this time we don't even get an intro. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what though? One thing that does kind of suck is. I don't know when it's saved. Oh yeah, it, okay. So it looks like it took the high setting, but it did not, yeah, good. But it didn't disable motion blur, so let's turn that off. Please don't crash. Okay, great, we're good. We are good. Perfect. And now it's running better too. Awesome. So, Master Locate, there's a lot. It's all over. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all. So it is pop. Yes. But building up. Hmm. We'll have. Hmm. I think I can. Uh, my way. But no problem. It shouldn't take. So it's saved right before we talked with Divish. Well, so we just gotta no, talk to this stuff uh, again. That, well, just. I, they didn't. You, I, we have. We, I, that. Mm hmm. We're about to get debated for a second time. I, Hold escape to skip. Stop spamming. Spam skipping causes crashes. Oh, good to know. I'll remember that for next time. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, this is running a lot better. Okay, great. Let's go. We'll stop here and we'll say hi to uh, to our girl, and uh, we'll sleep there to save the game. It is good to be back in this game. Uh, ooh. I need to do as much combat as I can. I need to get a lot better at it. Well, well, who's this coming in? I never set eyes on him in my life. No doubt one of those. <laughs> okay, well, that worked pretty well. <laughs> so, uh, we'll take your groceries. The mushroom. Cool. Okay, good talk, good talk. Mm -mm. Boop, boop, boop. I didn't even let him finish his monologue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did they change the late game balance? They did add a new hardcore mode. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means, though. Is hard... Okay, couple questions. Is hardcore mode in, and have any of you played it, and do you like it better? 
Um, so hard, co- hard, hard, 